Hey guys, Sukani here. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to solve this problem. The integral of 1 to 3, 1 over x squared x plus 1 dx. Let's first simplify this expression and then let's get into the integration. So I'm going to rewrite this expression as this. So essentially what I did over here is that a, b, and c are constants and I broke apart this into two fractions and I did that by having the factors as the denominators. So one of the factors was x squared, that is one of the denominators, the other factor was x plus 1, that is also one of the other denominators. And the reason I put ax plus b for the first fraction is because I have a x squared at the bottom, meaning that I have to have x to the power of 1 at the top. Same thing over here, I have x to the power of 1 at the bottom, I need to have an x to the power of 0 at the top. So basically, exponent should be 1 less than bottom for the top. And in this case, I am now going to simplify it. All right, so what I did over here, I just skipped a few steps because it's basic algebra, but what I did, I combined the terms that had a x squared, I combined the terms that have a x, and I combined the constant, in this case, it was just b. And the reason I did that is because now I can correlate from the left side to the right side. And what do I mean by that? Well, I noticed that on the left side, we just have a one. There is no x squared and there is no x, meaning that the coefficient of x squared and x is zero. So that is exactly what we're gonna do on the right side. So we're gonna set a plus c equal to zero because there is no x squared on the left side. That is going to be the same thing for a plus b, and that's going to be 0 because there is no x on the left side, but b is going to be equal to 1 because we do have 1 on the left side. And from here we can find a and c. And now that we have found a and c, let us plug these values back into this main expression. Alright, and this is much easier to integrate. And this is our final answer.